Hi, Tim Munkert here, and in this video, we're going to use JavaScript to create a program that lists out the Fibonacci sequence up to some number, okay, that we specify as a limit. Uh, we're going to use object-oriented programming, creating a class called Fibonacci, and we're going to do this so that we can create multiple objects with different limits and list out um, different well, the Fibonacci sequence out to different limits. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to start by declaring a class called Fibonacci. Okay, and in that class, we're going to use the word constructor, and we're going to take in some limits, and we're going to say this limit equals whatever that limit is. Okay, now we're going to go down here and have a getter. And we're going to say get, uh, and then we'll do uh, calc fib. And we're going to return this dot calculate fib. Okay. And we're going to go down here and have our method. And our method is going to be. Um, calculate fib, okay, and we're going to have to have a few variables here. So we're going to start off with a, a fib Fibonacci array, and we're going to set that equal to 0 and 1, and, or z the first two values are 0 and 1. And the reason we do this is, uh, I should mention, we're going to assume that the limit is higher than 1, okay? Uh, so by the way, to get the next number in the Fibonacci sequence, you add the previous two numbers. So keep that in mind. And we're going to also set another variable next item. We'll set that equal to zero. Okay. And we're going to have a while loop now. We're going to say while next item is less than this dot limit, we're going to do something. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to say that next item is equal to the array at the last index. So the way we get that is we type in fib array dot length minus one plus the array at the index prior to that. So the previous two numbers, the last two numbers of the array. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. So we're gonna do uh, fib array dot length minus two. Okay. All right, uh, so now we've got our next item and we wanna push that into the array. So I'm gonna type uh, fibarray.push and then next item, okay? So now we've got an our uh, array built with the Fibonacci sequence, but keep in mind this runs while the number is less than the limit, but the last number that you push in will be greater than the limit. So we have to keep that in mind. So we're going to have a for loop now, and I'm going to start at i equals zero because I'm going to be starting at index zero, and I'm going to say i is less than the array length, but minus one because of that last value I just spoke with. Okay, and then we're going to increment i as we go through this. And we're going to console log the array at index i. Now this should spit out the sequence. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create an object. We're going to say that limit 1 equals a new Fibonacci, and we have to pass in the limit at 10. Okay. And we're going to use the getter, so we're going to do limit one dot calc fib, and let's run it, and we'll run the program, and we're going to run node. We're going to run it with node. We're going to type node Fibonacci uh, dash yt. That's for YouTube dot js, and we get the sequence, the Fibonacci sequence that's less than ten. Okay. Um, all right, so. Let's just uh, close that and let's create another object. We'll call that limit two. That's a new Fibonacci. And let's make the limit 30 this time. 
and then we're going to type limit to dot calc fed and you know what let's comment this out and comment this out so there's no confusion open our terminal again and type in node fibonacci dash yt dot js and we'll see that we get the sequence of the numbers in the fibonacci sequence that are less than 30. okay the next number in case you were wondering would be 34 because 21 plus 13 is 34. so that would be greater than the numbers in the sequence anyways this is a, a fun little javascript program that i created i hope you liked this video if you did like it please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow and i thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one